All right, guys, I want to show you how I do this grass cloth um, table. I did this DIY last year. Honestly, just filmed it. Didn't know if anybody would care. And so um, just bear with me on some of the shots and the editing. Um, I even filmed it vertically. It just pains me to watch it now. But I think it's still valuable. I know a lot of you have requested it. I love this table. It's still going strong. So let me walk you through how you can make one for yourselves. All right, here is the console table. You can find this in my Amazon storefront under the DIY category. It's like 60 bucks. It's super affordable, a nice size for like behind your couch. Um, really, really great. Also, you can then um, find the grass cloth wallpaper that I'm using in that same DIY category. I think it's like 25 bucks. Okay, at this point I was just doing like rough cuts of the top piece and then enough for both sides of it. If you want to get super exact, you can get out a tape measure and make sure they're the proper length. I just eyeball stuff. That's how I work. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut pieces for both of the sides and for the top piece. I think my strategy though is to start with the sides and then this front piece and then lastly would be the top. Okay, this front piece, because the wallpaper is only this long, um, I really don't want a seam in the middle of it, so I'm going to turn it this way and just do a strip, and then I'll be able to use the other strip for the back piece. So here I'm just measuring for that front piece, doing a rough cut, and then measuring for the insides of the legs. That's where I started first because I wanted to get a feel for the paper and how this was going to go. This paper's pretty forgiving so you can see it wasn't very delicate in peeling the backing off but it's still in good shape there's no creases in it it's forgiving so the front of this piece is actually higher than the back of the piece so when I put this piece here to go straight across it I'm gonna have to cut a notch out so I'll show you how I'll do that Press it as far as you can into the corner, and then that's just right where you're going to slice it. If you have an X-Acto knife, I'd probably recommend that, but just using my scissors. Okay. Now you'll see, it just goes right around it. And for you perfectionists, you can't really see this part, but if I have any extra, I'll come up here and finish it out. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure that all the pieces that are visible from um, when you're looking at the table, that they're all wallpapered. The front piece is a little bit higher than the back piece. So you can see, I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut down. Push that into the corner and you're able to wrap it around. Okay, after I did both of the insides of the legs, I moved to the outsides of the legs. I had cut those pieces initially, um, so I just put it right at the top, took it down, um, brought it around the sides, did any sort of slicing I needed to to do that, and then brought it up under the bottom. Pretty easy. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so pleased with it. Here again, when I was wrapping this piece around, I just cut a little slit and then pushed it to continue on this side. Okay, this is the back side of it. See, I'll show you how I'm cutting the slit. Let's see where it stops. I think this one comes over pretty far. That's it. Wrap around and you wanna pull this tight and really get a crisp edge and then you can kind of pinch it the whole way down to get a nice defined corner. Okay, at this point I was cutting the piece that's going to go in the front panel. I think I just split it down the middle and the front piece was giving me a little bit of issues. I had to take it 
do it a couple times just to get all the air bubbles out but I went and I wrapped it up over the top again I still have that top piece to do that is going to be the final piece because that's where everybody's going to see it so I wanted to make sure there was nothing exposed as far as seams go on the top um, so that one I did last okay now I have the front done so it was time to add the top piece this was going to be my final piece um, this stuff is really forgiving so if you've never used this kind of grass cloth um, peel and stick wallpaper you can see I pulled it basically all up and put it right back down just to make sure I smoothed out all of the bubbles make sure I had it on there nice and straight I don't think I even had to trim it in the front I just sort of bent it over the front piece and all the lines line up so it really didn't look like you can't even see the seams if you're just overlapping two pieces of it again really forgiving all right here it is when i was done i think the whole thing took me only maybe 45 minutes really not a hard diy i only used one roll of paper but i used every single here's inch my of table. it this is almost a year um since i did this it's holding up well um i did have a tablecloth over it for a couple months but other than that maybe some bubbling up right here but you honestly can't really tell when you step away so i still recommend it i think it's a great hack an affordable way to have that grass cloth look